Polytechnic University of the Philippines is a state university system in the Philippines. This government educational institution governed is by Republic Act No. 8292, also known as the Higher Education Modernization Act of 1997, and its implementing rules and regulations contained in the Commission on Higher Education Memorandum Circular No. 4, Series 1997. PUP Santa Mesa is the flagship campus and the seat of administration of the PUP system. PUP is known as the poor man's university, where the economically challenged and other marginalized people study. PUP is also known for establishing the first railway academy in Southeast Asia and is notable for charging the lowest tuition fee among all universities in the Philippines at 12 pesos per academic unit, a rate that has remained unchanged since 1979. The PUP system is known as the country's largest university in terms of geographical reach and student population, which is an estimated of 80,000 students as of 2015. PUP's sports team is known as the Mighty Maroons and plays in the National Capital Region Conference of the State Colleges and Universities Athletic Association. The team also plays in the National Athletic Association of Schools, Colleges and Universities since becoming a member in 2013. Its official volleyball team, the PUP Lady Radicals, plays in the Shakey's V League. History equals Business School equals, The Organic Act, which established the civil government in the Philippines in 1901, made provision for the establishment of the Philippine School of Commerce. The Manila Business School was founded on October 19, 1904 to meet the demands of needed businessmen and businesswomen for government service and private employment. The school was a part of the city school system of Manila and was under the superintendence of Gabriel A. O. Euro unregistered trademark Riley. It held its first classes at a small two-story building in No. 38 Gune Street corner Arlega in Quiapo. The school was made into an insular school because the majority of his students came from the province and was renamed as Philippine School of Commerce in 1908. The school moved out from its Arlegi building and continued its operation on Goldenberg Mansion located on General Solano Street in San Miguel which was formerly occupied by the Bureau of Audits and the Philippine Senate. Its faculty was composed of Filipino and American teachers. For administrative purposes, the school was placed under the administration of the Superintendent of City Schools but kept its status as a national school. In 1933, the school was merged with a Philippine Normal School in the Philippine School of Arts and Trades. During the merger that lasted 12 years, PSC was administered by the PNS superintendent and its students who completed their courses were considered graduates of Philippine Normal School. The existence of the Philippine School of Commerce caught the attention of President Manuel L. Quezon. In his graduation address in March 26, 1940 at the Rizal Memorial Stadium, he promised a new building for the school where its graduates can be recognized. Two years later, Congressman Manuel A. Alazit together with the department head of the Philippine School of Commerce Louis F. Reyes, formulated a bill to this effect and present it to the Congress. Unfortunately, the plan was not carried out because of the Japanese occupation of the Philippines that occurred between 1942 and 1945 during World War II. Shortly after Philippine liberation, Superintendent Louis F. Reyes resumed the task for the re-establishment and rehabilitation of the school. The Bureau of Public Works released more than a plus or minus 8,000 for the repairs and maintenance of public buildings of which the school is a beneficiary. The ruins of the Normal Hall was reconstructed and the college resumed classes on August 4, 1946. In 1947, the Philippine Normal School converted the Normal Hall into a dormitory and the Philippine School of Commerce resigned to its lot as it operates humbly with overcrowded rooms. Because of its unbearable condition, the school made representations in the Philippine Alien Property Administrator, through Malacca Plus or Minus Ang and the Department of Foreign Affairs, for the acquisition of the Lepanto site in Sampaloc. By August 4, 1947 the school transferred to its new campus and Louis F. Reyes was appointed as its superintendent. Equals elevation into a college equals, the Philippine School of Commerce was elevated into a college and was renamed as the Philippine College of Commerce on 1952 by virtue of Republic Act 778. Superintendent Louis F. Reyes became the president of the college. 
it broadened its course offerings and the Annex Building, which had housed the Congress of the Philippines, was turned over to the college. The Business Writers Association of the Philippines awarded the college the title of Business College of the Year Euro in 1955. In 1962, Dr. Nemesio E. Prudent was appointed as president. He implemented numerous initiatives that greatly benefits the students such as student loans, and the inclusion of the student council in the policy-making body of the college. Three years later, President Diosdado Macropagal proclaimed that the Pandacan site of the Bureau of Animal Industry be reserved for the use of the college, which is in fact, a former slaughterhouse. In 1968, the college offered social science courses related to business education. Also, the college was granted to use and dispose the A. Marbini campus in Santa Mesa, Manila adjoining the former site of National Development Corporation, which will eventually become the main and flagship campus of the institution. It was also awarded the title lot for its S.H. Loyola campus. As a hotbed of student activism, a handful of his students participated in the first quarter storm, one of the factors leading up to the declaration of martial law in 1972. The college moved out from its Lepanto campus and completed its transfer to the A. Marbini campus in 1971. From 1972 to 1977, the college has established several branches, broadened its course offerings, and has restructured its offices and academic units from time to time. Equals elevation into a state university equals, the Philippine College of Commerce became a chartered state university and was accordingly renamed as the Polytechnic University of the Philippines, through Presidential Decree 1341 on April 1, 1978. Dr. Pablo T. Mateo served as the first president of PUP and the university further broadened its course offerings and its administrative organization was restructured. In 1979, the construction of the main library, the university canteen, the interfaith chapel, and the addition of third-fifth floors of the main academic building was completed. It also created the Institute of Technology, which was later known as the College of Engineering and Architecture. Because of the addition of more technical, undergrad and postgraduate programs, PUP adopted the cluster colleges set up in 1984, where each college prepared the program and supervised all the subjects required in the degree program offered in the college. In 1986, Dr. Nemesio E. Prudent reassumed the presidency of PUP. Under his presidency, PUP developed its physical facilities in Manila and in other campuses. He also formulated a new PUP logo, him and philosophy and had the university's organization restructured. PUP experience enhancement in its academic and co-curricular programs, upsurge in cultural activities, and maintains a dynamic physical education and sports program during his term. Because of what Prudent did, he was credited with revitalizing public education in the Philippines by institutionalizing much-needed changes in the state university he led which will eventually become the largest state university. In the 1990s, PUP had its first lady president appointed, Dr. Zenaida A. Alonan. It also modernized its technological facilities to keep up pace in the fast-changing condition. Before the decade was over, in 1999, PUP created its Information and Technology Center. It started its operations a year later in 2000. By February 2000, PUP was conferred by the Commission on Higher Education as a Center of Development for Excellence in Information Technology. PUP was also recognized as a virtual center for technology innovation in information technology by the Department of Science and Technology. Centennial Year PUP celebrated its centennial year in 2004. The countdown for the centennial started in 1999. In 2003, President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo proclaimed 2004 as the PUP centennial year. She also declared that the PUP Marbini campus be the official and permanent home of the Marbini Shrine. The Diosdado P. Magapagal Law Center in Lepanto Campus and the Freedom Plaza were all constructed for this purpose. PUP made the world's largest human rainbow during its centennial celebration held in Rizal Park to highlight the signing of the Declaration of Peace to be put before the United Nations. 
PUP's largest human rainbow is made of 30,365 students, faculty, staff and alumni. Equals 21st century equals, in 2005, Dr. Dante G. Guevara was appointed as the officer in charge of PUP. A year later, he became the acting president. Notable achievements during his term include the creation of the web-based application system PUPI Apply, the designation of PUP as Southeast Asia's first railway academy in 2007, and PUP becoming as one of the sites for the entire nation's commemoration of the 110th anniversary of the proclamation of the Philippine independence. Among the notable structures built during this time include the Marbini Obelisk, Freedom Plaza, and the Fort Santiago replica walls of the Luntiang Pilipinas Forest Park. In 2010, President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo declared PUP as the official and permanent home of the Marbini Shrine, the third site on which the shrine is relocated. It was transferred to PUP to protect it from the flood control project of the Metro Manila Development Authority. Despite these achievements, however, Dr. Guevara's tenure was also controversial due to allegations of graft and corruption, which was linked to the assassination of the vice president for administration during his term, Augusta Caesar. Because of his unsatisfactory performance after the recent events, he was suspended from his duty as the president of PUP along with other university officials that are believed to be involved in the aforementioned the scandals. In March 2012, Emmanuel de Guzman was appointed as the new president of PUP after a painstaking transition period. PUP participated in a successful attempt to set a world record for most organ donation pledges in 2014, a project spearheaded by the Department of Health. It broke the record for most organ donation pledges in one hour. 3,548 people signed up in the span of 30 minutes beating India's 2,755 pledged organ donors. PUP placed third in the Go Green in the City contest held at Paris, France in June 2015, representing the Philippines. Engineering students John Paul Santos and Christian Santa Romana won the award for their invention, the Electrofilter. It generates electricity from wastewater has the capability to filter and cleanse water and is portable so that it can be delivered to places where clean water and electricity are short in supply. Administration The PUP system is governed by a board of regents that responsible for the appointment of the president of PUP and the approval of institutional policies. The current board consists of 14 people and members of the board include the president of PUP, the Commissioner of the Commission on Higher Education and the Chairpersons of the Committees of Higher Education of the Senate and the House of Representatives. The current President of PUP is Emmanuel de Guzman, who is popularly known as Dekong to the PUP community. Equals allowances and salaries equals, Emmanuel de Guzman is the highest paid state university president whose basic annual salary was a plus or minus 3.09 million in 2013 according to the Commission on Audit. Other executive officials of PUP also receive huge salaries and allowances. PUP Vice President Samuel Salvador and Joseph Mercado received a plus or minus 2.7 million each. While Manuel Mui, the executive vice president, was paid a plus or minus 2.4 million according to the Secretary of Budget and Management Florencio Abad. Their high allowances is somewhat controversial as state universities in the country are known to operate on a tight budget. Branches and Campuses The PUP system maintains 22 campuses and is grouped into two, the branches and campuses. Branches are those campuses that are funded by PUP, while campuses are established through a memorandum of agreement on the city or municipality on which the campus is located and is funded by the municipal government. However, some municipal government remits to PUP a certain amount for the maintenance and operating expenses of certain branches. Equals branches equals. Equals campuses equals. Academics. Equals open university system equals. PUP is known for its distance learning education programs. The open university system is conceptualized as a university within a university. It is composed of the PUP Institute of Open and Distance Education Transnational Education, PUP Institute of Non-Traditional Studies Program and a TIAP, 
and the PUP Center for Continuing and Professional Development. The PUPOU system is also known as the Payment Izang Bayan, and established in the 1970s which offers vocational courses. PUP is also known as one of three universities that were able to institutionalize and implement the expanded tertiary education equivalency and accreditation program or ATIAP, despite the absence of budgetary support from CHED. The ATIAP program focuses on people who's been working for five years or more without a college degree and wants to acquire one faster than the traditional way of studying. As of 2014, the cost of a tuition fee is a plus or minus 4,800 per a three-unit subject for a bachelor's degree and a plus or minus 6,750 per a three-unit subject for a master's degree. PUP is also known for its non-traditional study program or NTSP, which evaluates the student's educational background, work experiences and achievements through a rating system that leads to the completion of an undergraduate or graduate degree. The ATIAP and the NTSP are handled by the PUP Institute of Non-Traditional Studies Program and ATIAP. Equals faculty equals, PUP has 2,747 employees as of the year end 2013. For the academic year of 2012-13, PUP has 1,828 faculty. Its faculty-student ratio is 1 to 37. The faculty spends two-thirds of their time in teaching and one-third for research and extension activities. Equals research equals, research is a major function of the university. The Office of the Vice President for Research, Extension, Planning and Development is the official research and planning agency of the PUP. It was established as the Department of Research and Statistics in November 1951. PUP is a member of the De La Salle and Iversitia Euro Commission on Higher Education Zonal Research Center. It is also a member institution of the Higher Education Research Consortium Philippines. Three of its research publications are accredited by the Commission on Higher Education, these are the Marbini Review, PUP Journal Science and Technology and the Social Sciences and Development Review. PUP organized the 2011 and hosted the 2013 International Research Conference in Higher Education. Funding In 2014, PUP released a plus or minus 1.7 million to finance 11 researches. Three of the approved research proposals come from the College of Science, three from the College of Education, two from the College of Communication, one each for the College of Arts and Letters and the South Cluster I of PUP Tagig. The research grant was given in three tranches. In 2015, the approved institutional research amounts to a plus or minus 2,280,947.00. People. Persons affiliated to the university either as students, faculty members, or administrators, are called as pupians. Like in all Philippine state universities, students and graduates are also called iscolar ng bayan equals alumni equals PUP has produced remarkable alumni in their respective fields in a jobstreet.com Philippines survey that surveyed more than 450 companies in 2015 PUP ranked fourth among the schools where employers sought out prospective employee from fresh graduates the salary range of the graduates of PUP is a plus or minus 152,271 a euro a plus or minus 656,178 according to the Manila Times although this data is subjective because of the probability that only graduates of PUP Santa Mesa are surveyed. Filipino political leaders and public servants that are graduates of PUP include Satoru Campo, a member of the House of Representatives of the Philippines, Celia Kapadisha Yango, who once served as the Secretary of Social Welfare and Development, and Ted Phelan a former politician and a broadcast journalist. Other legal figures include Antony Tar Fortuna Ibe, the Securities and Exchange Commission Commissioner and former Chairperson of the Professional Regulation Commission, and Dios Dado N. Silva, the Assistant General Manager of the Philippine National Railways and a lawyer. PUP alumni serving as CEOs or company presidents and executives include Fernando L. Martinez, the founder and CEO of Eastern Petroleum, Joey Bermudez, the former president of the Philippine Veterans Bank, Olive Ramos, the CEO of Southeast Asian Airlines, Henry M. Tan, 
a certified public accountant and the president of the PICPA Eastern Metro Manila chapter, the former president and CEO of Choking. PUP alumni in the academia include Galcoso C. Alboro, one of Metro Bank Foundation's outstanding teachers in the field of Filipino literature, Ed T. Vicio, one of Metro Bank Foundation's outstanding teachers for 2012, Francisco de Lupan, S.R., the founder of the University of the East and Reverend F.R. Herman Yodagahoy, the rector magnificus of the University of Santo Tomas. Married Altadio, an alumnus of this school who's now a successful CPA in SGV and Company. In the area of religion and theology, PUP alumni includes Eddie Villanueva, the founder and spiritual director of the Jesus is Lord Church Worldwide. In film, entertainment, television, PUP is represented by 2006 Binabining Pilipinas international title holder Daniel Luvarmanti. Actors Bayani Bayani and Tardo Jimenez. Singer Liesel Garcia. Comedians such as Michael Pecto Nakua, Albert Samaya Jr., popularly known as Batong, and James Ronald and Rod Filabezo, the duo brothers who are better known as Moimo Palaboy. Filipino TV hosts that are graduates of PUP include Love or Plus or Minus Over, and broadcaster and former politician Mario Teodoro Phelan Itong. Notable reporters that are graduates of PUP include Steve Dalezen, Maurice Lahalili, Mark Logan and Marn Macapagal and radio disc jockey John Gemple, better known as Papa Jack. Nationally known remarkable alumni include Dr. Rustica Carpio, who was entitled to the Ol Irong Artista Lifetime Achievement Amadi. See also, state universities and colleges. References External links Polytechnic University of the Philippines